Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up four Pokemon TCG Chilling Rain 3-pack blisters. Two of the blisters featuring Snorlax and two of the blisters featuring Eevee. Of course, Chilling Rain is the newest expansion in the Pokemon TCG. Official release date, June 18th, 2021. So I am very excited to get these three pack blisters opened up. I did purchase them for $14.99 a piece from Collector's Cash and you can find a link to the website for Collector's Cash in the description of this video. They also have a Poke course for buying and selling Pokemon cards that if you're interested, take a look at the link in the description of this video. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a portion of the sale if you do decide to purchase the program. And just a word of warning on there, there's not anything secret about the tips for buying and selling, but it is a great course for beginners or someone just looking to further their knowledge on buying and selling Pokemon cards. So this set is based around both forms of Calyrex, Ice Rider, and Shadow Rider. And then there are the Galarian forms of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Chilling Rain is the largest Sword and Shield series set to date with 233 total cards. It is already the sixth main expansion in that series of sets. I believe the MSRP for these three pack blisters $12.99 so I did have to pay a little bit more. As of recording this video I've not found any of the Chilling Rain products in retail stores but I'm hoping that it's going to be like battle styles in that they're not that hard to find. So like I said Snorlax and Eevee each three pack blister includes three Chilling Rain booster packs, an online TCG code card, a Pokemon coin, in this case it looks like Rayquaza, and then one of two Black Star promo cards, either Eevee or Snorlax. So I'll just open up one at a time here. So there will be 12 total packs opened up in this particular video. I did the same type of video for Battle Styles, and the three pack blisters were just terrible pulls wise for myself. We will see if the pull rates are any better in Chilling Rain. I have opened up a booster box of Chilling Rain, an Elite Trainer box, and then I do plan on doing a live stream booster box break for those interested. $12 per spot via PayPal, RyanMajeski at MSN.com to enter. It's a winner takes all style break. So it is a great way to support the channel. And you can find that information in the description of this video as well as in the live chat. And I would like to thank everyone watching this video as I premiere it on YouTube. I do like the foil on EV SWSH. 118 would be the card number. And then the three booster packs here of Chilling Rain. There are five different cover artwork designs for the booster packs. And then here's a look at the Pokemon coin of Rayquaza. I was going to see if there's a copyright year on the back, but there was not. All right, first pack here started off with Calyrex on it. Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX, probably one of the best cars in the set. And I will head over to TCG Player and take a look at the price guide as well. Right now, I believe the alternate art of Blaziken VMAX Secret Rare is the most valuable card in the set. Snow Runt starts pack number one. Weedle, Cast Form, Quillfish, Ralts, Metal Type Energy, Fire Resistant Gloves, Crabomitable, Spiral Energy. If you attach this to a Rapid Strike Pokemon, it can't be paralyzed. Flannery, a very disruptive supporter as the Reverse Hollow. An uncommon, discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a stadium in play. Final card, good start to the opening in a Galarian Moltres V. So just a regular V here, one of 15 different Pokemon V in the expansion. Like I said, this is a very large set, 233 total cards. There's actually 26 different full art cards between V full arts and the alternate arts, plus add in the full art trainers, 13, 13 of those. And this will be one very expensive set 
to complete. So I will head over to TCG Player. Normally I do this, and of course, prices fluctuate all of the time. So as of recording this video, the most valuable card in the set is the Blaziken VMAX, the alternate art secret rare at $137. The alternate art of Shadow Rider, probably my most wanted card outside of Snorlax, the gold colored one. So right now, several cards that are worth over $100, so it is a collectible set. But I think this set has a lot more trainer cards than other sets out there percentage wise. So I hope that the competitive scene will start to pick up a little bit. But as you can see, a lot of valuable cards here. Pull rates, I have heard that they are not the best. Battle styles also is not the best when it came to pull rates. Galarian Moltres on this one. This might be my favorite of the three Galarian forms of the Pokemon. Goals, quantity-wise, for the opening, I would like to get one white colored code card in each of the three-pack blisters. So far, one for one. Let's see what happens in pack number two. Larvesta starts it. Inkay, Rockruff, Ghastly, Lediba, Fighting Type Energy, Reboot, Agatha, the supporter, move up to three damage counters from your active Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon, Fog Crystal, a very good card for a Psychic Type, search your deck for a Psychic Energy card or a basic Psychic Pokemon, reveal it and put it in your hand, Echoing Horn, another good card here, put a basic Pokemon through your opponent's discard pile, Onto their bench as the reverse solo and uncommon. And then Frost Last. So that would be two for two when it comes to the white colored code cards in the first two packs. Not bad at all. Let's take a look at Frost Over. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. So a good way to accelerate energy into play. Of course, Frost Moth has an amazing ability on it allowing you to move as many water energy cards as you would like from your hand to your Pokemon. Look at that! This is how every three-pack blister should be, another white colored code card. And there are two different versions of the code cards just to help prevent pack weighing. How about a secret rare here, an alternate art? That would be the Hope. Ghastly starts this one. Coughing. Delibird. Galarian Farfetch'd, Porygon, Porygon is one of my favorite looking cards from base set, Water Type Energy, Honey, Impact Energy, similar to the previous special energy that I pulled out, except for this one, makes Single Strike Pokemon unable to be poisoned, Path to the Peak, Reverse Soul of a Haunter, an Uncommon, Final Card would be another Rare Hollow in a Galarian Rhaenerigus. So not bad, two rare holo cards and a Pokemon V from three packs. I'll just summarize all of my good pulls at the end of the opening. I'll go ahead and open up a Snorlax three pack blister now. Like I said, normally these are $12.99 in retail stores. Actually, I've seen a lot of these at Walmart in the past when it comes to three pack blisters, that is. I know Battle Styles, it seems like they had the three pack blisters there. And of course, I have received the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes for Chilling Rain. But mine was the same as most out there. It was an air box, only having 8 packs instead of 10. So then the Pokemon Center is going to compensate me pretty fairly for that mistake, giving me 2 additional Chilling Rain Booster Packs. What else? $10 in credit, and then 3 of the... Pokemon V, Galarian Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. So here's a look at these Snorlax. SWSH119 would be the card number. I think I do like the Eevee foil a little bit better. It really stands out more. The online TCG code card. I'll give this one away and then keep the other one. Same Pokemon coin in the Rayquaza. And then the three booster packs again. Hoping for one white colored code card from the three packs. Would love to get something other than just a Pokemon V. Hopefully some type of full art or secret rare. Like I said, my most wanted card is probably the gold color Snorlax. Just because Snorlax I'm a huge fan of. All the way from the jungle set. 
but value-wise, some of those alternate arts are worth more. First pack in Blister 2 starts with Mareep, Ralts, Cast Form Rainy Form, Snover, Galarian Yamask, Fighting Type Energy, Brawly, Celio, Clara, a decent supporter card, allows you to choose one or both, put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile in your hand, and or put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile in your hand. Brawly, the reverse solemn uncommon, final card would be a Cresselia. So doing very well with the white colored code cards so far. If only I was hitting something better than the rare hollows. Now Cresselia is one of four different pre-release promos from Chilling Rain, Cinderace, Inteleon, and Passimune would be the other three. This is a pretty good one with Crescent Glow, search your deck for a Psychic Energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. If you go second and it's your first turn, instead search for up to three Psychic Energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Similar to what Volcanion did for Fire-type decks. A very powerful card there. A popular card as well, giving your deck a great start. And with Volcanion, you could use Welder to quickly accelerate tons of fire energy into play. Now I'm doing my best not to look at the code card. That does ruin it for me a little bit. Now this set does not have anything in that reverse holo slot. There's not amazing rares or shiny vault subset cards or anything. Lapras starts this one. Blitzel, Aeron, Deerling, Delibird, Lightning type energy, Scroll of the Skies, Curlia, Fog Crystal again, Reversal of a Flaffy, an Uncommon. Final card would be a Serena. So it was a green colored code card this time. Still hitting my goal of one white colored code card from each of the three pack blisters. Final pack in blister two, halfway through this opening after this pack. Ice Rider Calyrex on the cover artwork design. Like I said, I will be doing a break, a booster box break for Chilling Rain. $12 per spot to enter. You can enter via PayPal, and that is open to anyone out there. You don't just have to live in the United States. Ralt starts this one. Heracross, Cast Form, Sunny Form, Seal, Hatena, Metal Type Energy, Path to the Peak, Hatrim, Laron, Reverse Fall of a Galarian Yaw Mask. This would be a common final card would be a Rapid Strike or Shifu, another rare holo. I had to tilt that card back a little bit. There you go. You can see the holo foil pattern on it. And that is why Jungle and Fossil in particular really hold a special place in my heart because of the foil pattern in the hollows really do stand out. So from blister number two, not bad. Two rare hollows from three packs. So now because I have opened up, each of the three pack blisters already. I'll just go right to the three booster packs. But I will just open up one blister at a time just so you guys can see the pull rates. And if you are looking for essentially the best pull rates, booster boxes are really the way to go. Although similar to battle styles, it seems like they can have really good pull rates or terrible pull rates in the Chilling Rain booster boxes. Here's the Galarian Zapdos on this one. There are alternate arts of each of the legendary birds in Galarian form. Let's see if I can continue to hit my goal of a white colored code card in each of the three pack blisters. First pack in blister three starts with Sveal, Crabrawler, Golit, Porygon, Grookey, Darkness type energy, Peonia, a decent supporter, put up to three prize cards into your hand. Then for each prize card you put into your hand in this way, put a card from your hand face down as a prize card. Fire resistant gloves. Crabominable would be the, well, I was going to say would be the rare, but that is not the rare or the reverse holo. A round would be the reverse holo, a common, and then another Serena as the rare, a rare non holo. 0 for 1 so far. I was lucky enough to actually find some Elite Trainer boxes of Chilling Rain from Walmart online. $39.98 and they actually shipped directly from MJ Holdings. 
Okay, four and then two. I know I've seen some comments saying that the quality of Chilling Rain cards are a little bit below average. I have not found that to be the case so far, but I always analyze my cards pretty closely, especially after I get done with the video. Weedle starts pack two. Galarian Farfetch'd, Cast Form Rainy Form, Larvesta, Sobble, Grass Type Energy, Ledian, Peonia. I do like the looks of a lot of the cards in this set. Honey, Reversal of a Golur, is this a rare? Yes, it is. Did very well with the rare reverse hollows from my booster box. Final card, look at that beauty. Karen's Conviction. And this is a pretty good card overall. Love the look of this card. Card 193 of 198. And I will jump over to TCG Player at the end of this video to take a look and see how much this card is worth. Karen's Conviction says, During this turn, your single strike Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken. So this can really pump up the amount of damage that your active Pokemon can do, especially the single strike Pokemon. So I'll set that aside. That would be a dab. I know some people enjoy when I do the little dab there. Elbow cough in the live chat. And again, thank you everyone for watching this video, especially for those that are watching as I premiere it. Certainly, if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you think this video deserves it. But very happy with the pull there. Last pack in Blister 3 starts with Lediba, Squovit, Crab Roller. Grookey, Score Bunny, Water Type Energy, Drizzile, Cybold, Melanie. This is a pretty good card here. Attach a Water Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V if you do draw three cards. Sobble would be the Reverse Hollow, just a common. And then Gallade would be the Rare. Cool looking artwork on that card. I like the red in the background. All right, so out of Blister 3, a Full Art Trainer, and then a Rare Reverse Hollow. So very happy with all three of the three-pack blisters. And I'm still on the hunt to find the Check Lane blisters in retail stores or online. As far as those go, I believe the two promos would be Fanpy and Morpeko. All right, so final three-pack blister, Eevee on the cover artwork design. And again, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, especially if you would like to help support the channel. Like I said, I am helping Collectors Cash promote their Pokemon course on buying and selling Pokemon cards, which I actually purchased for myself, and it is useful. Now, with that being said, if you've been in the hobby as long as I've been, you're not going to really learn anything brand new or groundbreaking. But for those just looking for an introductory course, it will be very helpful. Of course, I have that booster box break upcoming that I'll do a live stream opening of. $12 per spot to get into that. I have done several breaks in the past, including just a Shining Fates break this past weekend. So if you're wondering how my breaks work, take a look at that. Galarian Yam Mask starts the final three-pack blister. Cast Form Sunny Form. Cast Form, Lediba, Golit, Grass Type Energy, Clara, Haunter, Flannery, Reverse Hollow of a Deerling, a Common. Final card would be a Malamar. A decent attack on this Malamar, allowing you to do 40 damage times the number of Rapid Strike cards from your hand that you reveal. And then you must shuffle those cards back into your deck course Malamar from what Forbidden Light such a popular card back in the day here is the card I'd like to pull most Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX the alternate art we're just hoping I hit my goal again one white colored code card and it looks like I'm gonna have to hope for some last pack magic another green colored code card I do wish that it was like Vivid Voltage where there's amazing rares in that reverse hollow slot Venipede starts this pack Snover Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Snow Runt, Lightning Type Energy, 
Old Cemetery, Impact Energy, Porygon 2, Reverse Soul of a Cast Form, a Common, Rare, another Serena. So that is surprising with such a large set. I think I've pulled three Serena cards out. Okay, please wish me some last pack magic if you're watching this video as I premiere or really any time that you're watching this video. Galarian Moltres is on it. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I don't want to know what's in that final spot. So I'm very used to doing the card trick there. Let's see if I can do it completely with my eyes closed. One, two, three, and four. And then the next two, like that. And I'm going to go like Carl. I'm going to set this down. So who knows what that card is. Final pack here. A pretty good opening overall, however. Weedle starts it. The final pack. Cast form. Quillfish. Ralts. Heracross, Darkness Type Energy, Thwacky, Echoing Horn, Cybold, and the Reverse Hall of a Clara. And there are, like I said, several good supporter cards in this set. Now, very carefully, I'm going to flip over the card. And of course, Carla, this is the way that she does that, my wife. And I do miss her being in some of the live streams. Can I make it some last pack magic here? I unfortunately cannot. But pretty good pulls overall from essentially 12 booster packs, getting a Pokemon V, several holo cards, and then the Full Art Trainer and Karen's Conviction. So I'll show all those good pulls as well as show the price of that Karen's Conviction. So from 12 total booster packs or four three pack blisters, I pulled out one rare reverse holo and Golurk. If you can believe it, four rare holo cards. Frostlass, Galarian Rhaenyrigus, Rapid Striker Shifu, and Cresselia. Cresselia would be my favorite of the four. I actually had six white colored code cards and 12 packs, which is well above average. One Pokemon V and Galarian Moltres, and easily the best pull of the opening would be the Karen's Conviction Full Art. And this card, I will go over to TCG Player and show you right now as I'm recording this video, it is worth $34.40, which isn't bad for a full art trainer. A beautiful one, and I think a competitive one overall. So that will conclude this Chilling Rain 3-pack blister opening. Again, some reminders before you go, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Smash that like button if you think this video deserved a like, and if you would like to support the channel even more, lots of ways to do that. And you can find all of those ways in the description of this video. You can become a patron of mine on Patreon. You can purchase my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. You can get into the Chilling Rain Booster Box Break. Details for that also in the live chat portion of this video. And also, like I said, you can take a look at the Poke course on buying and selling Pokemon cards from Collector's Cash. I have a referral link in the description of this video. So thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.